morning and welcome to Coffee with Pastor. This is Wednesday morning, August the 7th of 2024, and I hope your day is starting with a nice hot cup of coffee and your copy of the Word of God open to the book of 3rd John. As I mentioned yesterday, we took the entire book of 2nd John, and so today we will take the entirety of the book of 3rd John. So please open up your copy of the Word of God, and as we, as you do that, we're going to turn our attention to our point to ponder, and it is entirely a different way to look at life, and indeed death. And so really listen to what Thomas Watson says, and he says this, we spend our years with sighing, it is the valley of tears, but death is the funeral of all our sorrows. I read that and it was like, wow, how that's true. We spend our years with sighing and it is a valley of tears, but death is the funeral of all our sorrows. Be the time when God wipes away all our tears from our eyes and there shall be no more sorrow. No more weeping, no more tears. Anyway, I was encouraged by that, and I hope you are as well. We are going to go ahead, bow our heads, bow our hearts before our Heavenly Father, and ask His blessing upon our day. Heavenly Father, again we say good morning. You have given us a great day, and Lord, yes, today. We look forward to gathering together with our church family, the folks that you have allowed us to fellowship with, to grow with, to learn with. And Father, I I say thank you. And Lord, tonight as we gather together, we ask your blessing upon our study as we look a little bit closer at the Passover. Father, We come into your presence, and we stop and we think of how good you have been to us. Everything we have is a result of your grace. You didn't have to give it to us. We have nothing in ourselves to make you want to give it to us. Nothing within us to cause you to love us, to provide for us to be present with us. But Father, somehow, you found it within yourself to love such people as us. Father, that's beyond our comprehension. Again, we recognize the fact that we don't deserve anything from you other than judgment eternal condemnation. Oh, Father, we thank you for our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ, who gave himself for us, who died in our place for our sins, in order that we might have life and have it more abundantly. And certainly, Father, you have given new meaning to the life that we live Father, even more exciting, we anticipate the life to come eternally in your presence. And Lord, as we think about that, we can't help but thinking, wow. And again, we don't deserve it. Lord, as we live our lives, keep our eyes on your grace and what you have done for us. Father, help us to know that any joy that we have, any excitement, any relaxation, any pleasure, is purely your goodness on display. And Father, as we contemplate these things, give us a heart of gratitude. And may our actions Show forth praise to you for who you are and what you have done. 
Father, use us today. Lord, you know what we stand in need of better than we ourselves do. We pray not for excesses. We pray for what we need. And Father, again, the grace to be faithful in all that we say, all that we do. And again, may our lives point others to our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Lord, again, we thank you. We praise you for this time. And as we open up your word, again, we ask that you would teach us. That your spirit would work in our, in our hearts, in our lives, in our souls, opening our eyes, helping us to be attentive to the details. And yes, to the application of your word. Father, it is indeed to this end that we pray that your people would be Christ-like. And Father, we thank you again, for we ask this in the precious name of our Lord and Savior, Jesus Christ. Amen. We are in the book of 3 John. The elder unto the well-beloved Gaius, whom I love in the truth, Beloved, I wish above all things that thou mayest prosper and be in health even as thy soul prospers. For I rejoice greatly when the brethren came and testified of the truth that is in thee, even as thou walkest in the truth. I have no greater joy than to hear that my children walk in truth. Beloved, thou doest faithfully whatsoever thou doest to the brethren and to strangers, which have borne witness to thy charity before the church, whom, if thou bring forward on their journey, after a godly sort, thou shalt do well. Because that for his name's sake, they went forth, taking nothing of the Gentiles. We therefore ought to receive such, that we might be fellow helpers to the truth. I wrote unto the church, but Diotrephes, who lovest to have preeminence among them, receivest us not. Wherefore, if I come, I will remember his deeds which he doeth, prating against us with malicious words, and not content therewith. Neither doth he himself receive the brethren, and forbiddeth them that would, and casteth them out of the church. Beloved, follow not that which is evil but that which is good. He that doeth good is of God, but he that doeth evil hath not seen God. Demetrius hath a good report of all men, and of the truth itself, yea, and we also bear record, and ye know that our record is true. I had many things to write, but I will not write with ink and pen, write unto thee. But I trust I shall shortly see thee, and we shall speak face to face. Peace be to thee. Our friends salute thee. Greet the friends by peace. I have no greater joy than to know my children walk in truth. And beloved, there is certainly no greater legacy than to know not that our children are respectable, good citizens. No, but they walk in truth. They're godly individuals. They're Christians. And certainly there is no greater joy than to know that our children walk in truth. Beloved, it's a brand new day. We're going to strive to be faithful. And again, if you're in our area, join us for First Baptist Church of Prudenville. Six o'clock, we'll be meeting together for prayer meeting. We'll be looking at the Passover tonight. But all day, all day, be faithful. Be faithful to God. And never, never allow anything about your life be anyone else's excuse for turning away from Christ. Beloved, we love you.
and God loves you. Until tomorrow, may the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ be with you all. Amen.